<coughs> so I've been doing not the best job at uploading videos recently, as you can probably tell. There's been a lot of stuff that's been going on and you know, I'm working, this is my working cap, keep this hair and this mess under control. But I was just thinking, you know, I've been spending a lot of time behind the scenes working on uh, some content for you guys, some like really good, really deep stuff. Throughout this time that I've been away from the channel, I really feel that God has been leading me towards really working at getting a firm grasp of what the vision and mission is, not just for this ministry, but for, you know, my life. What stuff should I be looking for when coming up with a vision and mission? Being a person who's, you know, not been on this earth for too long, I thought the best way that I could try to learn this was from going to other people. Learning from people who have been here, who have done it before, and as a result, I've got, here, let me show you. Whoa, look at that brightness. So I've been working on, on writing this book here. It's come out to nearly 36,000 words, not letters, like each and every individual word. And I, and I didn't do none of that stuff where I'm making isn't into is not or or haven't into have not. You know, I'm, I'm using like whole words here. I'm not trying to just make something long just to make something like obnoxiously lengthy here. This is actual stuff that I've been trying to apply. And as of right now, it's finished. This book, I'm pointing here, the, the computer is right here. As of now, the research is done, the book is written, and I'm just going through it to just do some like little minor adjustments. But I thought, hey, since I spent all this time working on this, like let's actually go through it. And I wanted to document the process here of just, not just what I feel like God is trying to reveal in me, but just trying to see like, hey, does this, <laughs> does all this stuff I've been putting this work into, does this actually work? So let's go on this journey. Let's plant purpose. Let's go through the, the guide to discerning fruitful vision, mission, vision, mission, and ministry. There we go. So the introduction. I have been working on some really, really awesome stuff for you guys. Things that can really help you lay a firm, like a solid foundation for your ministry, the work that you're doing, and even just help you out on in, with your walk with Christ in life in general. It's some amazing stuff. To lay the groundwork, the, to, pre, to, to provide some context as to what this content is that I've been working on, it is a book a guide for disciples, for people in ministry who want to discern a fruitful vision and mission. Uh, the season in life that I've been in right now for the past few months, God has just been emphasizing time and time again that if I want to continue to be growing the current Christian ministry and have that growth and that fruit last for a while, I need to know uh, what the vision mission is for this ministry. So he's really heavily been putting that on my heart. He's like, Alec, you got to know what this, what this vision is that I'm trying to give you. You need to know what the mission is. Where are you going? How are you going to get to that vision? And I was like, all right, let's do this. Now I don't have like a, a whole lot of life experience when it comes to developing like long lasting vision and mission. So I thought like, you know, best thing to do is to, to research, and learn from people who have. And then bam, you know, now the, we've got this, I, I got this book that I've been writing up full of the tips and the tricks and just the lessons from people who have done this before and that's worked. And from people, not even just people in church, like th these are people who are entrepreneurs, businessmen, doctors, people, but people who are involved in the community, people who've made massive impact in, in, in the world. And yes, people who are pastors, people who are in church as well. But the biggest one is it's full of life lessons from Jesus and his ministry. Because ultimately it comes down to how did Jesus do this and how can we do it like Jesus? So this book that I've been working on, it's, it's written, it's completed, and now 
you know, it's time for me to go through it. And this whole process, this journey, honestly, I should have been documenting it more. I should have been keeping you guys up to date, telling you like along the way what I've been doing. But it's just been like, I've been wanting to put so much focus into this, like adding anything else to my to-do list would have just been too overwhelming. So I had to say no to a few things in order to say yes to the few big things. And that meant, I just wanna get this screen, there we go. It looks good back there. And I, so I wanted to get, uh, so I wanted to focus a lot on writing this book. And yeah, it's, it's finished. And now it's time to go through it and to review it and do the work. So I was thinking, you know, I could document that part of the journey because this book is packed with so much wisdom and advice that honestly, it's one of those things where you can kind of keep going through it and new things will pop out and be emphasized depending on like which season of life that you're in. The thing that I love about the Bible is you can go back through it again and again and God will emphasize different things for you. And that was kind of the intention that I wanted with this guide. So when you go through it the first time, the season of life that you're in, the amount of knowledge and understanding that you have now will influence what you get out of this, this book, this guide, when you first go through it. But when you go through it again, when you do it with more people, when God grows you and changes you, transforms you, and makes you different, different things will stand out. So I'm gonna go through this. Uh, I'm gonna read through this intro, and then I'll go through the questions and I'll just leave that off for now. So let's do this. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching our video. If you'd like to join the crew of Current Christian Supporters, you can do so by hitting that subscribe button. It really help us out a lot. And if you wanna watch more of our videos, you can do so by clicking any of those videos on the side right there. Yep, just, just click any, any of those options that you want.